So I put a speaker in this keyboard, but the hole isn't quite as big as the speaker. And I powered it with this little baby amplifier that uses the same super old chip as this super old amplifier, just a newer version of it. Here you can see what the old version looks like. You can still find this little chip in clock radios, toys, this old weather radio I turned into a guitar amp, but now I'm replacing it with this fella. This is a class D amplifier. It switches the sound to on and off only really, really fast, faster than the speaker can move because transistors are more efficient when they only switch on and off instead of all the in-between action. So we hear it as way louder with less power. You're supposed to put a little volume pot right here or you can just solder these two pads together for maximum volume. Now the old amp I put in here just used the 9 volt power supply but we need 5 volts so if we find a 5 volt regulator because this is a digital keyboard check it out 7805 that's the 5 volt regulator here and if we hook to that pin there we'll get positive 5 volts. Sound is wired so the headphone jack or the jack in the back will disconnect the speaker we got the power there, that's a Univac wire from an old Univac computer, probably twice my age. And that goes down to our new board there, hooked to the speaker, let's hear it. Okay, that didn't work, so I had to jumper ground over from the signal ground to the power ground. Then it wasn't loud enough, so I had to look up the pinout on this chip and find the two in pins, and find two resistors on the board that already had pads next to them, thankfully hooked into these alligator clips and these two old pots I had lying around. I found a sweet spot. I'm going to measure these pots with an ohm meter and find resistors close to those values. Slap them in the board and we should be good. Always got to use the helping hands. And I got it the loudest by shorting out that resistor there with this piece of wire. And then putting this big old resistor in place of this resistor that I just ripped out of there. Foam tape on the bottom. The whole thing's still smaller than that quarter, so it's not going to keep up with the drummer, but let's see how she sounds. Oh, yeah, it's got a spooky red glow underneath it now, yeah. There you go, add your own features.